Tarzan of the Apes. From the novels by Edgar Rice Burroughs, with Mr. James H. Pierce as Tarzan, and Miss Joanne Burroughs as Jane Porter. This is an American Gold Seal production, coming to you over the World Broadcasting System and Associated Stations. Tarzan has rescued Jane from the pirates, and believing that her own people are not capable of protecting her, he has taken her to the jungle with him. Her father and his party, in trying to rescue Jane, have themselves been captured by the pirates. Lieutenant Darno, however, tricks one of the pirates into taking him to the edge of the jungle. And from there, Darno makes a break for freedom. Now, are you ready? Hold your breath. We never should have let Darno try to get away. I don't know, Philander. If he hadn't wanted to get me out, he never would have tried it. No, no, Professor. He wanted to get us all out of the clutches of these pirates. Well, I blame myself. I blame myself entirely. Bring him along. Bring him along and tie him up to that tree there. Are you hurt, Clayton? No, no, I'm all right. A few bruises, but perfectly sound. Uh, did Darno get... Not a word, Professor. Not a word. Sir, the lieutenant ran off, did he? That lot of good that'll do him. I'll have him back here before you can say Jack Robinson. He, he, he got away? Yes, Professor. Now, don't say anything more. Oh, yes. You'll talk. I'll see to that. Now, Professor, what do you know about this here runner? Why, uh, nothing, Snipes. No? Well, how about you, Philander? I? Why should I know anything about it? Oh, no. You're all as innocent as a lot of ruddy land. Come on. Come on. Whoever tells me something will save himself a bunch of trouble. Ah, come on, you guys. You might as well tell Snipes what this is all about. Or I start working on you myself. Well, there's nothing to tell. Nothing at all to tell. Donald tried to escape, that's all. Yeah, and what was you were doing on? You wasn't trying to get away, was you? Oh, no. I? Why, I was only... Ah, well, come it... on, come on. You was what? I was trying to get Darno to come back. I knew you'd try to shoot him. Yes. And what was King doing out there with Darno? None of us know that. Darno and King were... Yes, 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 yes. yes. That, that's right. I remember now. Uh, Darno wanted to... He wanted a drink of water. A drink of water. A drink of water. Ah, you blokes are the rottenest liars I ever seen. King. Well... Don't suppose you know anything. No, I don't. No. Nah. Well, what was you doing off there, away from your duty? Well, you see, uh, Lieutenant Darno wanted a drink. And uh, you had to take him into the jungle for that. Listen here, Carlos. I'm a conductor of this area investigation, and I'll do it my own way. See? Well, get on with it. Get on with it. Now, King, you might as well speak out. What was you going to get from the lieutenant? What do you mean, get? John, I know you wasn't going out there to get no drink. What was he going to tell you? Nothing. What did you take me for? An idiot? Speak up now and speak fast. I'm tired of talking to you. Uh, I ain't telling you nothing. Oh, you ain't, I? You see this here revolver in the end? I'll shoot you down where you stand. If you don't come through with it clean inside of ten seconds, you murdering villain. Close your trap, you. Ah, now, since shooting him, Snipes, say, there is other ways of making men talk. You keep your long nose out of this here, Carlos. Now, King, hurry up. Why, you blasted let me swamp. Back in the jungle, high in the great tree, Tarzan and Jane watched the jungle waken to a new day. With the changing light, the deep purple of the treetops brightens into pools of vivid green. The waking monkeys gibber and chatter as they start their daily round of endless keepers. Overhead, the brightly plumed jungle birds screech and whistle as they wheel and circle about their nests. Tarzan looks at Jane. See, Jane, it's daylight. Yes, Tarzan, although I've seen it a hundred times, it still thrills me. The jungle's dawn. Tarzan likes the jungle dawn. Tarzan likes the jungle all the time. I understand, Tarzan. If I were as much at home in the jungle as you are, I would love it too. Jane at home in the jungle now. <laughs> oh, no, no, Tarzan. 
I've gotten over my fear of it in many ways. But I can't exactly say that I'm at home here. Tarzan is hungry. Jane hungry? Let's get some fruit and eat. Can we do that on the way to the hut? Jane want to go to the hut now? Yes, right away. I should have gone to look after Daddy a long time ago. All right. Holding Jane easily in one arm, the ape man swings from the crotch of the tree, in a few deft catches, gains the lower jungle terrace, and rapidly carries Jane toward the hut. Far below them and out of their sight, a stumbling figure makes its way through the matted wall of vines and creepers. It is Darno. In the darkness, he has lost his way. With the coming of dawn, has gotten his bearings and is now pushing rapidly forward in the direction of the little trail that he knows leads to the river and the cabin. Tarzan speeds toward a giant tree at the edge of the clearing. He stops. Look, Jane. There is the hut. Yes. Let's go down, Tarzan. Jane cannot see. See what? Nobody there. Why? Why, that's right. Why, there isn't a sign of life about the place. Where do you suppose they can be? Tarzan does not know. Listen. What? Somebody is coming. Harmon Ganny. You hear a noise in the brush? Yes. I can't hear a thing. Let's go down. No. Wait a minute. We'll see who it is. Quietly, Tarzan, holding Jane, sits within the shadows of the trees, waiting. And then Jane, too, begins to hear the thrashing in the brush that signals the approach of something. Someone. Suddenly, from the margin of the forest, Darno steps into the clearing and quickly makes for the door of the hut. It's Lieutenant Darno, Tarzan! Lieutenant! Lieutenant! At the sound of Jane's voice, Darno stops in his tracks, turns, and gazes up into the trees. Tarzan picks Jane up and drops rapidly to the ground. Together, they run forward to greet Darno. Mademoiselle Jane! Monsieur Tarzan! Oh, Lieutenant! Where are Father, Mr. Philander, and Cecil? They are at the pirate camp. Herman Gary takes Father and others? Yes, Tarzan. We tried to patch up the small boat and go out to the Arrow to help you when you rescued Mademoiselle Jane. But we smashed up the boat and the pirates captured us. But, oh, we must go to them at once and rescue them. Exactly, Mademoiselle. That is why I escaped. You escaped? May we? I tricked King, one of the pirates, but it is a long story. I will tell it all later. Carmen Ganny did not shoot, Darno? The King had no time. You see, Snipes and the others were coming up from the beach. Clayton shouted something to me. King became confused and did not even fire at me. Oh, let us start back at once. We must try to help Father. But of course. I came at once to the hut to get a rifle and ammunition. And to find Tarzan if I could. He is worth a regimo. All right, get the rifle. Tarzan have bow and arrows. Then we go quickly. We won't be a second, Tarzan. Back at the pirate camp, King stands nursing a flesh wound in the arm while Snipes, smoking revolver in hand, stands threateningly over the injured mutineer. Next time, I'll let you at it right till you black off. Now then, speak up. What was the lieutenant trying to give you? I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you, Snipes. But take your finger off that trigger. Well, let's have it then. Well... The lieutenant said he knew where the treasure was buried. He offered to show me the place if I'd let him escape. So you let him escape, did you? No, 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 I didn't do that. So help me, I didn't. Well, well, I was going to let him show me, and then I was going to shoot him down and come and tell you, Snipes, where the treasure was buried. Did he show you where the treasure was? No, he... But you let him get away anyhow. Well, I tell you, I was all turned around. All turned around, I tell you. What with you hollering at me from the beach, and this guy here hollering to Darno that you was coming? Then that lieutenant does know where the treasure is. A rubbish. He doesn't know any more than these others. Did he ever say anything to you guys about where he hid the treasure? Uh, certainly not. We have no idea where it can be. That's true, Snipes. None of us know any more than you do. I think he knows. Well, if he does, he knows a whole lot more than any of us. Why, uh, he just told King that story to get him out, where he'd have a chance to knock out on us. And blame the pedant work it on King. All right. Then this here is what we've done. King, you go out and you find that there lieutenant, or you don't come back. What? <coughs> You want me to go up in that jungle again? Go on, King. Beat it. Get going. And go fast. Oh, by myself? Better send a couple of guys with him, Snipes, to see he don't get double cross us again. All right. Take Mike, Red, and Phillips with you. And, sir, help me. If you come back here without that lieutenant, I'll stand you up against a tree. Next time... I won't nick your arm. I'll let you have it right between the eyes. All right. All right. I'll go. I'll go. Come on, man.
Trouble. Coming through the jungle headed toward the mutineers' camp, Jane, Tarzan, and Darno walk rapidly along the narrow jungle trail. Crashing through the brush from the opposite direction, secure in the belief that they have only Darno to deal with, come King and his mates. Suddenly, Tarzan stops, holds up his hand in warning to Jane and Darno. Someone coming, Tarzan? Yes. Jane and Darno stay here. Tarzan, go into trees and look. If it is some of the mutineers, Tarzan, you shout, and I come to help you. No, Darno. You stay here with Jane, behind the tree. Tarzan will see who comes. Darno, not leave, Jane. What, monsieur, if they start the fight? I'll no, leave. Darno, stay with Jane. Tarzan, fight alone. Better that way. Ah, uh, but this is really my fight. Tarzan is usually right when it comes to what to do in the jungle, Darno. We'll stay here, Tarzan. Good. Tarzan, go now. Silently, Tarzan swings his lithe, muscular body up into the trees. Jane and Darno stand motionless, alert, listening in the spot where Tarzan has left them. With a few rapid swings, Tarzan covers the intervening distance that separates him from the mutineers. He watches them approach, and then he drops soundlessly down through the branches and squats lightly upon a low branch under which the mutineers must pass. Silent, alert, he awaits their approach. On they come, stumbling forward, crashing through the vines and undergrowth. Bringing up the rear is King, his wounded arm stuck inside his shirt front. Tarzan rises to his feet. Swinging his grass rope, he leans far out over the trail. The leading mutineer is almost under the tree. With a quick glance, Tarzan gauges the distance. The ape man's arm flashes out. The rope uncoils, straightens, settles over the mutineer's shoulders. Before the man could call out, Tarzan pulls the rope toward him. At the screen, King looks up, sees his comrade disappearing into the foliage. Look! Look! The jungle guy! Quick! He's got red! But even as King shouts, Red's body comes hurtling down from the trees. With an oath, King raises his revolver and levels it at Tarzan. Has King shot hit Tarzan? Will done.